Hello YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I want to do a quick video on an issue I had with my 2015 Ford F-250. <clears throat> uh, I reached out on to the Ford forums on Facebook uh, and, and got a lot of good feedback and actually some of the answers were correct. Uh, so let me explain what was going on. I uh, was coming home uh, on, I believe it was Sunday evening, and noticed a loss in power. And I'll, I'll kind of show you here. You know, step on the gas, and it speeds up. Well, <clears throat> the other night, it would uh, speed up, and then quickly, almost like it was dying off. Um, it, it was like... Uh, uh, it would just give a few seconds of, of uh, speed and then it would quickly die off. Uh, it wouldn't actually die die. It just wouldn't go any faster. And I had my, at one point, you know, I could have my foot almost uh, all the way to the floor. Uh, so obviously very concerned. I'm like, uh-oh, I've got a transmission issue. I had just ran a, um, I put Marvel Mystery Oil in my tank. And obviously, as you can see, I'm at half now, but I uh, just filled it up and had added the appropriate amount of that to the tank. So I'm thinking, uh-oh, I must have dislodged something. You've got it for the fuel system. You know, it's got 103,000 miles on it, almost 104,000 miles on it. It hasn't had a tune-up. And uh, so all of these thoughts are going for the head. And I, I, okay, well, let me try to blow it out. Maybe it is something that needs to go for the fuel system. And maybe it'll, it will work work itself out. Nope, never did work itself out. So finally, I rolled down my window. I said, well, let me just listen. You know, I've had the 5.4 uh, Triton. And I had an issue with that truck uh, where you, let, you press on the gas and let off. It would... Uh, I called it diesel mode. It would start knocking and shaking the whole truck, and I had to pop it in neutral and, and rev it up, and it would go away. Something with the cam phasers, I believe that was the issue with that. So I rolled down the window and immediately noticed that my brake lights were on. And I go, that's odd. That doesn't look right. So I uh, step on the brake, nothing. I'm like, okay. It seemed really bright. You know, you can kind of see. Uh, I'll, I'll point it to you. Obviously, that's the brake light on now. And then as soon as I let off, you can tell a huge difference. So I'm going down the road, and it looks like this the entire time. Uh, and it should be that. You know, you could obviously tell a huge difference. So that's what it was doing right there. Brake lights were on. Obviously, I can't see my center brake light. So I don't know if it's on or not. Um, but I definitely now know there's an issue. I further trying to do some diagnostic. I try to kick on my um, cruise control. So I was able to turn it on. As you can see, the little yellow light there. That's off. That's on. And I tried to set it. Nothing. Would not set. Wouldn't do anything. And uh, now I'm going again, going back to... Okay, got a transmission issue. This is not good at all. Uh, as you can see, no check engine lights had to come on. There's still none on now. Uh, so no check engine lights came on. Nothing. So uh, I get home. I turn the truck off. Lock the truck. Uh, usually about 30 seconds there, the lights will go off. And my brake lights are on and are not going off whatsoever. They are not turning off. Uh, now I'm freaking out because obviously the battery will uh, die if I leave the, so those lights stay on so um, immediately okay I, I need to at least get the, the power off on the battery maybe I need to do a reset with the battery so I immediately grab my toolkit go and unhook the battery both for the yeah I went ahead and did both uh, terminals so I uh, took the negative and the positive off Waited the full 10 minutes and nothing. Uh, didn't resolve the issue at all. It did not, uh, uh, didn't go off. So, um, 
I don't know what else to do. Uh, obviously, there's uh, something majorly going on, and uh, and it, 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 you know, just now I'm thinking it's an electrical issue. I got a computer issue, so uh, I'm going to insert the. Uh, well, I'll take that back. So I called a mechanic about new mines. I posted on the forums. Hey guys, I don't know what's going on. This is the issue. Uh, I've got a brand new battery I just installed January of this year, 21. It's not a battery issue. No issues there. Uh, won't go faster than 50 mile an hour. Because at the time, it would, you know, I was able to get it to over 50. Later on uh, in the story, as I tried to take it to a shop, uh, it won't get up over 50. So uh, I had to keep letting off, getting on, letting off, getting back on, and, and finally we get up to 50. So uh, some of the comments were, hey, release or put your parking brake on, release your parking brake. I did that several times, nothing, didn't resolve the issue. Um, uh, and then I started getting uh, things, hey, it's your brake switch, check your brake switch. We have this issue as well, check your brake switch. So, um, so uh, the, the comments were saying, hey, check your brake switch, that could be a possible issue. So. Uh, now I'm starting to jiggle with the, the brake pedal. I'm pulling, you know, uh, jiggling it back and forth, forward and backwards. Now the lights are still uh, still staying on. So I broke down, had to call a mechanic, family friend of ours, and uh, explain all of my issues to him. And he knew exactly what it was. So I'm going to insert a picture here. And uh, so that's the issue. Um, and then I'm also going to attach the uh, um, the actual product. So we replace it with a motorcraft. So it is a safety feature. Uh, if you guys are having these exact same symptoms now, uh, I ta was talking to other people and they all had some different issues. Uh, some people were having issue with the throttle body, which I think kind of was the same issue I was having. Basically, the safety issue or safety feature is it um, if the brake lights are on or if the brake is, is applied, which in, case, in this case it thinks it was, the computer said it was, uh, it will not allow you to throttle up. Uh, and it's a safety feature. I believe there's a Lexus, a crash several years ago, and it was turned into a safety feature that basically your throttle can't be over, your throttle can't override the brake. And that was the cause for the basically the power loss or the loss of, of acceleration. So uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them best I can. But if you have any of these symptoms, uh, just go ahead and check your um, brake pedal sensor. Uh, that's more likely your culprit. Uh, this shop that I take it to, uh, they more work on European cars, and they do that's a common issue with their cars, with European models. They did not see this with uh, American-made vehicles, so uh, we're, we're apparently not uh, immune from that issue as well. But uh, if you're having any symptoms, that's what the cause was. Uh, it's about $50. Obviously, the shop got it for cheaper because they buy parts all the time, but uh, only maybe half hour of work that they had to do. It cost me right around a hundred bucks. Uh, now I am obviously a family friend, uh, but I did still want to pay for it. Uh, they didn't uh, uh, need to uh, give me any discounts. You know, it's like, look, you guys did the work. Obviously, I needed my truck back. So, hope this helps anybody that has a similar issue. Um, it did do a little bit of damage to my tail light uh, housing. It did seem like it rippled it, uh, caused it to the heat from the bulb. I'm sure the bulb will probably need to replace at some point now that they've been running constantly for almost an hour. Uh, this was how long I think they were on. So hope you guys like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.